Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Curate here. Today we are sewing little boy pajamas. So, backstory. I normally buy all my old sheets and curtains and stuff like that from the charity shop that's down the road. And they know me in there well enough now that they are starting to put stuff by. <laughs> is that a sign? It's like the lady in the coffee shop, which is around the corner as well, knows my usual order. She'll be like, Billy, usual. So that's a worry. And now the lady in the charity shop is holding stuff by for me because, and I quote, I saw this and thought you could do something amazing with it. No pressure. Let me show you what it is. So she put aside for me this. How cool. I mean, I get off it dog. The dog is not very well today. He had um, his yesterday and he's feeling a little bit sore. <laughs> And a little bit cryy, can you hear him? It's all we're getting at the moment. Let me just show them the fabric. So this is one side, and then you've got planets on the other. And it was two pound. It's just a single bed sheet, but she was like, well, now I think about it, she said she kept it by because she thought I could do something amazing with it, but actually it didn't come with a pillowcase. So maybe she was thinking that she couldn't think of any other mugs that would buy a bed set without a pillow case and therefore I would have it which I definitely would but then it got me thinking what am I going to do with it luckily Minerva Fabrics have a competition on at the moment called what is it called the hashtag second life challenge I'll put the details in the um, comments and if you can upcycle something and give it a second life then you can be entered into a competition and you can win like 100 pounds worth of goodies and stuff like that and we all know that we could do with more fabric right so i'm gonna turn this into a pair of pajamas now i know what you're thinking but philly your 16 year old isn't going to want a pair of pajamas like this i mean the girls would wear this quite happily but I am thinking that I have another little boy in my life who would appreciate some space things. Dog, stop. Oh. Um, he would very much appreciate the um, space and he would appreciate the planets. And when I spoke to him, him being my little nephew, who's only three years old, um, when I spoke to him on FaceTime, he was like, I could have some space pyjamas. Yes, you can, kiddo. And yes, you will. So went on a search to go and find a sewing pattern. This is what I found. So you know me, cheap as chips. I'm not a fan of overspending where I don't need to, especially if I can spend it on fabric instead. So I have found a pattern on Pinterest for a free little button down pair of pajamas. He's gonna look the mutts nuts. Oh, sorry Dash, we don't talk. The only problem, there is a problem with this pattern. Can you guess what the problem is? Yeah, it's in Russian. And not only is it in Russian, but it's, it's a PDF. So I can't even use Google Translate to swap it from side to side. But I've made shirts before, so I know how the shirts go together. The trousers will be a piece of cake, that's absolutely fine. It's just the shirt that's worrying me because it's a, um, it's got lapels at the front, which I'm assuming this is a second piece. Oh look, you can see the little picture there. So it's got lapels at the front. And um, so that's, I'm not great with necklines. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of Googling and a little bit of research before I get started. But these little pajamas in this fabric, it's gonna be so cute. Let's go and have a look. Oh, for heaven's sake. I know you're poorly, but can you get off? Are you poorly bunny? Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's better. Right, off then. Off, off. Good boy. No, mm. no. <laughs> oh, please. 
why? What do you love about my fabric so much? Huh? Okay, we have back front of trousers, uh, cuff for the bottom. Not sure if I'll do the cuff or not. Uh, on the top, we've got fronts, facings, two sets of collar, um, or rather front and back of collar, uh, back sleeve, more cuffs. Again, not sure. Well, I suppose I'll have to do with those because it'll be too short otherwise. And a little itty bitty pocket. Let's stick it all together. Okay, pyjama bottoms, done, no cuffs, um, and a little bit of an elastic waist. The top, so I've got someone else's instructions that are in English, thank you very much, um, and it says to, oh, I've put the darts in already, I don't know why it's got darts in the shoulders, we're running with it. Um, it says to sew the shoulders on that bit, and then it also says to sh sew the sh um, shoulder bits here, but I'm not sure if that's, I didn't quite know where, like there maybe? I don't know. I'll work it out. What I'll do is I'll sew the shoulders on there and then I'll use this and mirror it. <sighs> ah, that was an intense, literally two hours, maybe more, that I just get put, coming back, trying it, no, coming back, trying it, no. But apart from a little catch there, which is frustrating, I think the collar is on. Woohoo! Now to do the arms, put a little pocket on, maybe. Does a three-year-old need a pocket in a pair of pyjamas? I'm not sure. But arms, and we're done. Oh, and buttons. I forgot buttons. Arms and buttons, and we're done. you've ever seen in your life <laughs> I love that even though my boy is six foot three I can still make things for my little nephew and he can have a little outfit of some pajamas that I've made out of a sheet do you think he'll be grateful of course he will he will love them I wasn't sure on the elastic I didn't know how big his little waist is so hopefully that will be small enough that um, he'll be okay. And I didn't go with the cuffs at the bottom because it just felt like unnecessary. And I was stressing enough as it was with the collar. It's definitely not right. If you look, it doesn't, I'm sure that's supposed to match up. Definitely not right. But considering I had no instructions and then had a complete brain melt in the middle of it anyway, I was trying to watch some YouTube tutorials on how to get it done right. And like I said in the video, it just, so it said to join the fronts and the backs at the shoulders and then do the se same on the facing and then do the, um, add it all, put it all together. It just didn't work. I attached it two or three times and it just kept going wrong. So I was like, do you know what? I know how to put a collar on and I know how to put the facing on the front on. So I'm just going to do them separately and I'm going to go with it that way. So I've got another half of the fabric still. So I'll see if I can um, have another try and just like practice. I don't think I'll make another pair of pajamas for him, but just to practice getting these lapels right would be quite nice. And I've also got, so this was one side of the sheet and then I've still got another bit, like how much is it? I've got this much of the rest of the sheet. So I thought I'd make a little bag for his pyjamas to go into, a little drawstring one. So that'll be really nice. And it'll be easier to post like that as well. So hopefully he will like them. And that is my entry for the second life, hashtag second life um, challenge. So, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job in turning something into having a wonderful new life. 
I mean, we're talking back to the dogs again, aren't we? That still won't stop whinging. How long do they hurt for after they... We'll find out by the end of the week <laughs> if he's still whinging. And bless him, he just keeps going around like, like that and then getting really aggy every time he hears a dog barking outside as well are you doing it now he's doing it for the attention anyway guys thank you so much for watching every single week i will be live on friday morning as usual uh 10 o'clock gmt time so if you want to pop in and have a chat with me then i will really like to see you see you soon guys bye <laughs>